This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, the 29th of March. I'm Michael Groff. Dry weather with above average temperatures will continue for the foreseeable future around here. That means all the way through Easter weekend and much of next week. We're heading into the three driest months of the year here in Phoenix, April, May and June. So do we have any hope? of seeing any rainfall anytime soon. We'll also get you a look at that drought monitor as well as we kick things off by looking at the almanac from yesterday. 80 degrees, the high in the valley, an absolutely glorious day after a morning low of 53. And outside right now, just after 8 a.m. here in the valley, sunny skies greet this day. 61 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 21, humidity 22%. The winds are light, the barometer rising. Temperatures around south-central Arizona this morning, 47 the cool spot near Maricopa. Otherwise, low 50s to low 60s for most of us. The water vapor satellite view, a deep trough over the nation's midsection, ridging building along the west coast, and that'll be the dominant weather feature around here for a little while. On the watch warning map, flash flood watches extend from parts of north Texas all the way north and east toward the Ohio Valley and parts of West Virginia. They've already canceled opening day in Cincinnati today due to the inclement weather and all the rain they've had over the last couple of days. On the convective outlook, a slight risk of severe storms extends from New Orleans north and east toward Hattiesburg, Meridian, Mississippi, Birmingham, Alabama, with a marginal risk for the adjacent states. And rainfall for the next seven days coming from the WPC, absolutely nothing statewide. And that's terrible news because the latest drought monitor is out. And now you see that extreme drought is covering much of central and northeast Arizona with another area of extreme drought over the far southern portion of the state. Uh, Moderate drought for the far northwest corner and southeast corner and then severe drought elsewhere statewide. And this is only going to further deteriorate as we go through the next several weeks as rainfall is not expected on a widespread basis anytime soon. We'll talk about that, though, right now as we look at the models and see what's going on. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. The upper chart at 500 millibars. There's our big ridge building along the west coast. Traffic in the nation's midsection. Down below that at the surface, a dry northwest flow. A glorious day, really. Sunny skies, highs mid-80s today. Tonight, clear. Lows near 50 in the cool spots Upper 50s for us in the mid-city tomorrow, sunny and warmer, highs 87 to 90. Could be our first 90-degree day of this 2018. Saturday, some high clouds. Uh, We'll call it partly cloudy. High temperatures again, 87 to 90. Mid and upper 80s on Easter Sunday with a mix of sun and clouds. As westerly flow comes through here and Pacific short waves pass through that flow, but no real significant moisture of any sort. Monday, partly cloudy, mid-80s. Mid-80s on Tuesday with partly cloudy skies. And Wednesday, more of the same, partly cloudy. Highs mostly mid, maybe upper 80s. Here's a week from today. This is Thursday, the 5th of April. And again, mainly a zonal flow. Uh, Perhaps some short waves move through, periods of high clouds. Highs anywhere from about 85 to 90 every day. And same thing really as we go to Friday the 6th. We do see a trough approaching the Pacific Northwest coast. And ultimately, that may impact our weather, especially as we go to the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday, the 7th of April. And now that trough really deepens here across the interior west. And this run of the GFS is even advertising some widely scattered showers over southern Arizona at this point. Uh, This is 10 days out, and there's really no model consistency out here. I don't think this is going to happen, but certainly this is something that is worth watching. And we'll see if this turns into a trend. All right, let's check the numbers coming off of the GFS Ensemble and highs uh, 80s to near 90, lows mostly 50s and 60s. But once we get out toward 10 days, you do note the Ensemble has a dip in temperatures and that could be indicative of that system coming on in here. We'll see how that pans out. We're certainly due for a couple more cool downs before we get into the meat of our hot season, and that runs usually May through September or so. And that's going to wrap it up for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. This was our 500th edition of the weather discussion. Thank you so much for viewing us every day and subscribing. And if you like our videos, you know you can subscribe, you can click like, you can do all that kind of stuff and keep us going. Thank you so much. You guys have yourselves a great Thursday.